Greetings and welcome once again to Music and Meditation with Pastor Fred and Sharon Moore. And thank you, Sharon, for that beautiful hymn, Through It All. Joseph the Dreamer. That's who we're talking about today. Listen to these words of Scripture, Acts 7, 9. Because the patriarchs were jealous of Joseph, they sold him as a slave into Egypt. But God was with him. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Because the patriarchs, those were the brothers of Joseph, because they were jealous of Joseph, they sold him as a slave into Egypt. But God was with him. Joseph it's an important figure in the Bible's book of Genesis. He was the first of the two sons of Jacob and Rachel, Jacob's twelfth child and eleventh son. And his story functions as an explanation for Israel's residence in Egypt. He was the favorite son of that patriarch, Jacob. And we know the story because their jealousy made them sell their brother into slavery in Egypt, where he eventually ends up incarcerated. But we know that after correctly interpreting the dreams of the Pharaoh, he rises to second command in Egypt, saves Egypt from a famine. And then Jacob's family, they travel to Egypt to escape that famine. And it is through him that they are given leave to settle in the land of Goshen. Yes, that's the eastern part of the Nile Delta. Jealousy, that's what motivated his brothers. First to kill him, but then, eh, let's make some money. We'll sell him. A nasty group, his brothers. Have any of us had problematic family situations. Oh, there might have been some relatives we wouldn't have wanted to visit us. I can't think of a single one we wouldn't have wanted to visit us. Honestly, I can't think of a single one. Oh, well, there may have been some that tested our patience a little, but none that we weren't glad to see when they came to our house. Can we think of a brother or sister that really was a challenge for us ever? My father came from a family of 12 siblings. And let me tell you, they were all fun. I remember at those annual family reunions. Oh, I loved those times. And I don't remember any arguments or fights. Just a fun-loving bunch of people about a 90 of them every year. Some may not have found memories like that at all, but I did also when I was a high school teacher for 33 years. And there were a few difficult times, of course, but very few. And my difficult times were not with the students, no. No, no there were some difficult times with other teachers, but never any that would have prompted me or prompt them then to sell me into slavery, I don't think, even if it were possible. <laughs> and we always work things out. We have remained friends. Well, not so with Joseph and his brothers. They wanted to kill him, get rid of him. I cannot remember any time with my brother that I was inclined to do him in no, we loved each other. Still do. He's 81 and I'm 83. Joseph was born the 11th of the 12 sons to his father. And he was, as I said, the firstborn of his mother, Rachel. But he loved Joseph more than any of the others. And so he gave him this wonderful coat of many colors. Now that made his ten brothers furious. 
They were jealous to a point of hating him. They just wouldn't even speak to him. Finally, they got hold of Joseph, and they tore that fancy coat to shreds and threw him in a pit to die. But then they decided to sell him to some passing slave traders. He was taken to Egypt, and after some tough times, he became steward to one of Pharaoh's officials, because he was a smart fellow. And due to his ability to interpret dreams, he interpreted one for the Pharaoh, and this ability of his soon moved the Pharaoh to make him governor of Egypt. His dreams, you see, knew that Egypt would suffer a time of famine. So he rationed the nation's produce in preparation for that time of famine. Now, during that spare time and that, that uh, famine came into Jacob's land, yes, and Jacob's sons came to Egypt for food. Now, let's look at this first of all through Joseph's eyes. He had known that he was special in his father's eyes, and this did not endear him to his brothers, of course, especially because he wore that fancy coat of many colors, especially since it was given to him by their father. They were his sons as well. They didn't get any fancy coats. So dislike turned to hate. And so what did this mean? with Joseph's fate? Well, we all know when dislike turns to hate, anger appears, and this burns and turns to fear, and we forget all that we hold dear and just embrace that fear. Fear of rejection, fear of loss, fear of a faith hunger that we feed and then wonder, wonder why, why, why? The question is, why are my hopes dashed? The answer is not always easy. The answer is not always pleasant. The answer does not always please me when it happens in the present. Do we dislike that noisy neighbor who bothers us daily? Do we act in unpleasant ways? And will God forgive us like Joseph did his brothers? That is our challenge to love each other as God loved us, even when we have reason to hate. Oh, Lord, let our hate turn to love. I'm reminded now of that song that Sharon played at the beginning of this program, Through It All. I've had many tears and sorrows. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation and my trials, yes, only come to make me strong. Oh, I've been a lot of places. I've seen millions of faces, but there are times when I just feel so all alone. But in my lonely hours, yes, those precious lonely hours, Jesus let me know that I was his very own. And that's the reason I say, through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon his word. And when we learn to depend upon his word, we learn to love each other, even though it may be tough sometimes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now let us pray that prayer together that Jesus taught us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, 
and, and the glory forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. And now, till we meet again, God be with you, and God bless you. Amen.